Welcome to LNP Renewable System Integrator. Today we are going to see some of the basics of a temperature sensors. So if you are going to work in a building management system industry or a building automation control system industry, okay, or a building automation system, okay, you should be pretty aware of what is a temperature sensor. Okay, what are the things that we are going to discuss today? Today we will try to know what is a temperature sensor, where can you see this, where can you use this temperature sensor. How the temperature sensor looks like okay how a temperature sensor works how a temperature sensor is wired and installed and what or the things as a bms engineer backs engineer i should know in the temperature sensor so first we should know about what is a temperature sensor it is a device which provides the accurate reliable sensing of a room temperature or a particular area temperature if it is installed inside a duct it will show the temperature in that particular duct Okay, mostly it is used in all the ventilation industry, heat ventilation, air conditioning systems, it is used. So as I told earlier, what we are going to perform using this temperature sensor. So with the help of this temperature sensor, we are going to control the air flow inside the particular room or inside the duct. What we are going to do with the help of the inputs from the temperature sensor, we are going to control the valve, the actuators okay it can be a damper actuator or it can be chill water actuator also so both actuators we need to control only with the help of this temperature sensor in order to achieve the set point temperature we need to uh, maintain the uh, coolness chillness inside that room so for that we need a we need to control the chill water actuator with the help of this temperature input okay and that can you see is so you can see these uh, temperature sensors mostly in malls, multi-storage buildings, um, uh, metro stations. Okay, and uh, you can uh, see in the places where the building management system is established. Even in the airports, you can see these thermostats. Mostly, it is used in building automation system where we are using chillers. Okay, air handling units, variable air volume units, fan coil units, in those places you can see these and we, we are using these there. So, as I told earlier, in the variable air volume units, we are using this thermostat that is the room temperature sensor. So, room temperature sensor often we are also referring as a thermostat. See, this is an example of a DDC controller. So, we are controlling the opening and closing position of this actuator with the help of this thermostat so how it looks like see here these are the examples of the wall mounted thermostats okay and this is an example of a temperature sensor which usually installed in ducts okay uh, if you go for a heat ventilation air conditioning industry or an handling units on the supply side and the return side we have a temperature we have a ducts larger ducts so in order to measure the temperature inside the ducts, we need a probe like provisions and we and we need to monitor it externally also. So that's why in certain places with the display we used to give or in other places without display we used to give but the electrical signal will convert as a electrical signal and we used to monitor in our VLCs even uh, by mapping through the uh, SCADA in the workstations also we can see the temperatures. So here uh, today we are going to see there are so many varieties so many uh, companies are there siemens uh, abb okay honeywell snyder electric like that so many players are there in the sensor industry but today we are going to discuss something little clear about the siemens so this is an example okay how it works see here this is an air handling unit which is working this is a supply side return side see here we have a temperature okay this is the set point temperature and this is the actual temperature to achieve the set point see here uh, the entire equipment is running continuously okay see here the mixer at sensor temperature so using the temperature inputs most of the things are getting monitored here so how a temperature sensor is fired say for example if you're going for a room temperature sensor it will have a rg11 connector jack so if you're going if you're using a cat 6 cables in order to establish the communication then uh, using this color code you need to crimp your cat 6 cables 
okay and so that you can easily connect with the rj11 connectors this is the color code that you need to follow if you're going for a room thermostat which rj11 connectors okay okay if you're going for a two-word connection or a three-word connection okay it can be a temperature sensor or even for a humidity sensor okay first of all what you need to see what are the terminals how many terminals are there? mostly we'll have the six terminals in certain places most importantly four terminals are mandatory okay if you are plan to monitor okay through voltage that is 0 to 10 volt dc okay if you plan to get the uh, 0 to 10 volt dc as an output from your temperature sensor then for sure you should have these terminals like this so you should have a G, G0 where you will connect your 24 volt AC supply okay or it can be a DC supply as well okay then you, you will have a provision of U1 and U2 okay so from there in one places from one place say for example from if you want to uh, monitor the if you are going to sense the temperature using that uh, sensor then you have to connect your one of your terminal with the U2 and the other one with the ground okay and if you're going if you're planning to monitor your temperature in terms of current that is 4 to 20 milliamps then your connection should be like this g1 i1 g2 i2 like this you have you should have a connection okay and even in certain places okay uh, you plan to monitor your temperature in terms of um, um, resistance okay uh, then you can have a provisions like this as well so there are so many types are there okay in Siemens that is QFM 3100 okay which has only three terminals just G, G0 and U1 and uh, the other mo uh, model is that uh, QFM 3101 see here in the 3100 model you are going to get the temperature output from the sensor as a voltage whereas in case of uh, QFM 3101 you are going to get as a current okay and when you go for a, a QFM 3160D there you can have either uh, you can get temperature as well as a humidity if you need okay both things you can get from the that sensor so that's why it is having G, G0, U1 and U2 okay mm, you can get the DC uh, temperature as a DC output 0 to 10 volt okay next if you are going for a QFM 3171D there we have G1, G2, I1, I2. If you plan to get your uh, temperature signal as a electrical current output, that is 4 to 20 milliamps output, then you can choose this QFM 3171D, where you will get the output as a 4 to 20 milliamps. Okay, and and also uh, in this sensor you can monitor the temperature as well as the humidity because uh, mostly. Uh, both the uh, options they are providing in certain places ideally if you want only the te te temperature you can go for you can choose only uh, the sensor with only temperature option or if you plan to monitor both then you can go for these sort of sensors two in one option and as i told earlier uh, for the if you're going for a temperature transmitters it can be two wire or it can be three wire or it can be four wire so this is an example of a uh, connection how you can make so for sure for the device to operate and as well as for the module to operate you need 24 volt DC supply okay, the positive and the negatives you need so take the positives for the transmitter to operate okay and for the negative lines based on the number of wire okay it has you can connect it okay this is a simple example of how a two wire three wire and a four wire transmitters are wired with the uh, analog input modules and most importantly uh, as i told earlier you have a terminal to monitor temperature separately as well as humidity separately but in certain places okay even the temperature ranges you can fix with the help of this jumper see here you have a jumper it's like clip like provision you have a pins it will get it will sort two things this jump what is the purpose of these jumpers these jumpers sorts the two terminals so you can remove the jumper and you can connect with the other uh, if you do that okay if you do that if you change the jumper position for sure some change will happen inside the uh, temperature sensors output also see here say for example uh, here we have a jumper okay and on, on also we have we have a jumper here see if you have a jumper here you can monitor the display of a temperature in degree Celsius if you remove this jumper and put here 
you can monitor the temperatures in Fahrenheit. Okay, and for the measuring ranges also you can say use a jumper. See here, now the jumper is in the center position, means the middle position where you can monitor the temperature in range of 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. Sometimes, if you want to monitor your temperature from 35 to uh, th minus 35 degree to plus 35 degree, then you can remove this jumper from here and you can put here in the left position or in certain places if you want to monitor the temperature from minus 40 degree to 70 degree celsius then you can remove this and you can connect it here so use the, using the with the help of this jumpers we can take the desired output even in the display as well as in the electrical output signals also this is an example of qfo 31 d models it can be one two three there are so many varieties are there but based on your requirement you can use this okay and even see here for the test connection active also you know by changing the jumper positions like this you know we can get the desired output in uh, of voltage in u1 u2 or if you are taking as a current of 4 to 20 milliamps then you can have a desired output so say for example if you plan to install your uh, temperature sensor that is room temperature sensor with display in the wall this is how you have to install you can have a wall but uh, you need to bring your wires from the uh, DDC controllers or the PLC controllers or the VAV controllers okay it can be CAT6 wire or it can be 2 wire 3 wire so based on the application or the temperature sensor that you choose you need to bring down the wire and you have a back plates and this is how you need to install you will have a mounting screws and if you plan to install a uh, temperature duct temperature sensors then this is how you need to install this is an example how you can install um, duct sensor inside a duct so as i told earlier see this is a duct mount relative humidity sensor even the temperature sensors also looks like looks the same okay so see here this is an example of a duct mount graphics okay temperature sensor and this is an example of a humidity sensor so we are um, uh, taking the electrical output from the sensor and we are converting them uh, into uh, you know we are scaling them with the required ranges uh, through mapping we are displaying it in the scale see here temperature sensor humidity sensor so this is an example of a double supply double electric even in the single supply also we have a temperature sensor for the pressure side we have, have a temperature sensor and the supply side we will have a temperature sensor and on the return air side also we will have a temperature sensor so based on this temperature sensor, you are going to monitor many things. So this is a single supply single extract AHU models. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and press the bell icon. If you want to know more and learn more, feel free to contact us. So we have provided the contact details. Okay. Now we are providing design, installation, testing, commissioning, consultancy supports, even a training for diploma students and as well as a uh, UG, BE, electric and the electronic engineering students, electronic instrumentation engineering students and electronic and communication students. So if you want to uh, learn you can contact us we are providing the training with the certifications so we have provided the contact details here and uh, if you have a plan to work in a gcc uh, or if you're going to work for a building management system or a building automation control system or if you're going for an oil and gas industry if you want to know some of the basics then you can contact us we have provided the contact details here and we are also providing design uh, installation testing and commissioning for on-grid off-grid and hybrid applications also if you have a uh, increase for solar fencing also we are providing your kits you can contact us and if you want to know the electrical vehicle basics also you can contact us we have provided contact details here. thank you so much